Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don, and we're coming back to you with a video on programming a key with the new T Ninja Pro. Now, we talked a little bit in our last video just a bit about some of the uh, different things that we need to take into account before we are going to program keys. If we're going to be programming keys as an automotive professional, we really need to be uh, making sure that we are doing this in a professional manner. Now, that includes being insured, uh, that includes obeying all the laws in your respective city or country or state, uh, whatever territory or jurisdiction you live in. So if it's required that you get licensed, uh, bonded, insured, things of that nature, we want to make sure we're doing that. Now, on that specific note, we are actually going to talk just a little bit about some of the different organizations here before we do the key programming uh, that you should be a member of if you are in a respective country that has one of these organizations. So if you're in the USA or Canada, it's a really, really, really important thing for you to join the National Automotive Service Task Force organization. And uh, basically here you can get what is formerly referred to as locksmith ID credentials. Now this will help you with programming keys in a lot of situations, uh, having those credentials. There are some basic requirements for uh, getting approved for this particular credential. But again, if we're going to be programming keys in a professional setting and doing this on multiple vehicles, we really need to join this organization if we are in the US or Canada. If we are in Australia, they have their own organization, which is kind of a cousin to NASTIF. Uh, this is the AASRA, and they have kind of a similar organization set up there that is all surrounded uh, by making sure that things are done in an ethical and professional fashion and uh, taking care of protecting the consumers and things of that nature. So, again, just wanted to briefly touch on that. If you're going to be programming keys as an automotive professional, we need to make sure that we are joining these organizations and that we are uh, making sure we follow all of the requirements set forth in order to gain approval by those organizations. Now, if you're in a country that does not have these organizations, uh, again, just follow your local laws uh, as well as any regional or national laws that exist in your country. That being said, let's proceed. So, we're going to go to the T Ninja Pro and we're going to go ahead and connect it up to the vehicle. However, the first thing we need to do before we proceed with the key programming is we need to make sure that we have a stable power supply. So we've got our Tornado T30000 hooked up to the vehicle here and we are going to make sure that that holds a stable power supply throughout the duration of our key programming event. So, now we're going to switch back over to the T Ninja Pro. We are going to go over to the vehicle and we are going to plug in our dongle. Okay, so our dongle is all connected up. We're going to go ahead and go into the immobilizer section. We're going to auto VIN. Now we have to make sure we're connected to the VCI. Okay, there's our VCI. We're going to connect. Now when we're doing key programming, it's a really good idea if you connect your USB cable to the dongle during any key programming just to prevent any data loss or corruption during the process. Uh, so again, really a good idea. Now you can see we have our voltage supply in the top right there showing that we have a stable and steady voltage that is well above charging, or excuse me, well above base voltage of, you know, 12, 12 and a half to 12.8. And again, this indicates that we have a stable power supply on the vehicle. And that's exactly what we want during this. So we're actually going to go back here and we're going to auto VIN. And this is a Toyota. We're going to select the vehicle here. And this is a bladed key. And we're going to go into the immobilizer. And we are going to learn a key. 
Now, it's really crucial that when we get into this particular menu, we're very careful about which buttons we push. If we're not sure what some of these various buttons do, you don't want to be pushing these if you are not a trained professional and you do not know what they do. Now, we can look at the number of keys that are programmed to the vehicle. Now, we have a key installed in the vehicle right now with key on engine off. So we know that we have two master keys programmed to the vehicle, which is what this came with uh, from the dealer. So now we're going to go to learn key. Okay. Okay. We have a master key. Everything matches here. Okay. Remove the key. Insert the key to be learned. So we're going to do that. And we're going to keep the ignition off. Okay, the theft light has gone off. Gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna check how many keys we have. And we're gonna turn the key on engine off. And we'll see what we got. And there we go. Now we can see we have three master keys learned. So look at that. That was pretty easy, right? The biggest key here was we needed to make sure that the theft light on the dash, we'll switch to the other camera and show you where that's located, just so you can see. The theft light on the dash in this particular vehicle is located in a little bit of a strange place, but we can see it's right over here. This is where the theft light is. So when it's going through the learning process, we're going to watch that and make sure that that goes out. Remember, the learning process on this Toyota, uh, this Tacoma, takes place with the key off as the scan tool com commands us and tells us to make sure we leave the key off. This will flash for a short period of time and eventually it will turn off. Once it turns off, that indicates that the key has in fact been learned. So we've got the new key in the ignition. Let's go ahead and try to start this vehicle. First thing we're gonna do is make sure we turn off our T30,000 here. We don't need any kind of voltage supply during the starting event. So we're going to go ahead, turn that off, and now we're going to try to start the vehicle with the new key. Starts right up, does install, indicating we have a new learned key on the vehicle. Here's our new key, right there. Here's our original key, right there. Good to go. Okay, so we learned the immobilizer for the vehicle, and... We'll show you that on this screen here. So we learned the immobilizer for the vehicle, and the new key now starts the vehicle, no problem. But we need to learn the remote. So when we learn a new remote, we're going to turn the ignition on with the original master key. Then, when we do the learn, we're going to press both buttons on the remote, the lock and unlock simultaneously. And then we're going to hit the unlock button once. And we hear the vehicle beep. Everything's good. It's learned the new remote key. Going to hit OK. OK. Now we know the new key works. We can check and see how many uh, remotes we have learned to the vehicle by going into the screen. So we're going to hit unlock. Gonna go ahead, stick the key in the ignition. And we're using our original key, which would be the OEM key in this case. So we got the key on. We're gonna make sure our T30,000 here is powered up. So our voltage is nice and steady. See our voltage jump back up there so everything looks good. Hit OK. Number of remote keys learned is three. So now we'll switch over to the other camera after we take the key out here so you can see. So we're going to turn the key off, take out the master key. I'm going to switch cameras for you here to this one here. So here's the original key here. See the Toyota symbol on it? 
We're going to test the unlock and lock function, so we're going to lock it. Okay, locks. You see the lights flash. Headlights turn off if we hit it a second time. We're going to unlock it with the original key. We hear it beep twice. Now, we're going to try the replacement key that we have programmed to the vehicle. You can see this is the aftermarket one, no Toyota logo. So, we're going to unlock, or excuse me, we're going to lock. It beeps, it acknowledges, it locks the doors. Now we're going to unlock. Beeps, unlocks, now it acknowledges. So now, our original master key is programmed and works, both for starting as well as for remote functions. And our replacement key that we have added to the vehicle starts the vehicle and also unlocks and locks the vehicle just as we desired. So everything's good to go here, and we're ready to go ahead and give this vehicle back to the customer. As always, I'm Hawkin with Top Don. Thanks for watching this key programming video on the new T-Ninja Pro on this Toyota Tacoma that we were working on today. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch all of our videos. If you have a suggestion for a video or you have questions on any of our existing videos, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks again.